I, I really hope that, that uh, in today's day and age, a young guy coming up would think that riding clean is the only way. Um, there's, there's always temptation out there in, in sport or in anything else. Um, but you just have to come out to an event like this. We're racing Gastown tonight and a whole host of top riders that are local BC guys like myself and Zach Bell and Ryan Anderson, all of us, we've been racing here for a long time and we've just been slowly improving over the years to the point that we were top riders in North America. And we've always pushed each other to stay clean. It's, it's, it's the only real answer for us. And I think that any, any young guy or girl who is feeling temptation or is being encouraged the wrong way, don't be shy, like come, Come out and talk to your coach. Talk to guys like us. We're approachable. Talk. Come to the, your, you know, your, the female rider or the male rider that you idolize. Go ask them questions about how they did it, and we'll be more than willing to talk to you about it and give you support. I think the cycling community in Canada and in Vancouver on the west coast here is really strong, and most anyone I talk to when I, you know, start to be loudmouth and talk about get rid of doping and I want to see lifetime bans and all that stuff, I, I get nothing but support. So I think your community around you supports you in trying to stay clean. To, for me to get to the level I, I am in cycling, I think it was it was just a matter of um, you know keeping at it year after year and working hard with a coach. Uh, if, if you feel like the training program didn't work, go out there, ask questions, get references, find a coach that works for you, and and do your work every day. Um, it, it has to be something that you really love doing. I don't think you can you can just do it strictly for for your you know your parents or your friends or whatever to impress them because it's just too hard. Um, but the thing is, if you enjoy it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like work. It's just it's hard effort, but it's fun. And and the big thing is is just getting out there and being the best that you can, your own self, not worrying so much about how your watts compare to others. As long as you know you yourself are training hard and seeing improvement, it doesn't have to happen overnight. But you will improve slowly but surely, and you, and you just have to stick with it. Certainly, when I was younger, I got the chance to race the the big superstars, top top level guys, um, the the Canadians that have have come out as Dovers or international stars like Lance also. I got to race Tour of Missouri, Tour of Georgia. When I was new, I switched from mountain bike onto the road. And then, you know, I, I went out and I was in breakaways and I was aggressive and I was trying to get results. I didn't get amazing results, but I was I was active and I was a part of the race. And then years later, I look back and realize, holy smokes, like all these guys I was in breakaways, they were all doping and cheating. And yeah, that's a major frustration. It's really hard. But I think like anything, you can look at things in life as a glass half, glass half full or a glass half empty. And I think, for me, the kind of the silver lining was that, hey, I, I was clean and I was doing my best and I was still competitive with those guys. Yeah, they cheated and, and they made the big bucks and they were able to beat me, but I was still able to give them a run for their money. And I know what I'm capable of and I was able to test my own limit. And in the end, that's what's kept me cycling and what motivated me was just to see what I'm actually physically able to do. And I think if I, you know, if you had to cheat it, you just wouldn't really know. You'd always have that question and it, I just don't think that would be a good way to look back at your career. You can do it clean and it's gonna be infinitely more rewarding if you do.